So uh, beyond the fact that the production of plant proteins uh, specific, specifically from leguminous plants has a lower impact on environment through lower needs uh, in water, nitrogen, etc. Plant-based diets uh, already offer a lot of nutritional and health benefits. I'm working on it through their intrinsic uh, composition. So, uh, for example, even if plant-based proteins have often um, a deficient profile in one essential amino acid, uh, eating a diet with a mix of plant-based sources allows the complementarity of amino acids and also of fibers. And uh, according to a recent review of uh, Professor Mariotti in France, it seems that classic vegetarian diets supply more than adequate protein and amino acids. Uh, secondly, I'm thinking of the recommendation of the World Cancer Research Fund, which recommends, among other things, to eat whole grains, veg foods, beans, consume foods uh, containing dietary fiber to, to reduce the risk of cancer, and specifically colon cancer. It is also in line with the WHO that recommends a level of energy intake that uh, should be uh, simply covering um, energy expenses to, pre to, prevent, uh, to prevent weight gain, uh, uh, obesity being uh, a huge uh, growing health concern at the planet scale. Finally, uh, increasing the number of plant-based sources in our diet has already been proven to induce health benefits uh, through uh, numerous epi epidemiological and scientific studies on Mediterranean diet. Uh, benefits for cardiovascular health, for health and wellness, and it has also been proven to be the dietary pattern with the most uh, consistent evidence for efficacy against uh, hypertriglyceridemia, which is related to cardiovascular disease. But globally, the plant-based diet is beneficial for public health and, uh, and can contribute to prevent communicable diseases and can increase longevity and reduce the health concerns and so also the costs related to health for governments. That, that's one uh, way of seeing the, the transition. I, I fully agree with what Catherine is saying from a nutritional point of view. I think also we as a company were very much looking from um, a sustainability angle and if you look at and, and i don't think we have to explain it to anybody here but it's very obvious if you look at the carbon footprint for instance of plant-based foods versus uh, versus dairy food so for instance if i take what we call internally our plant butter um if i look at the carbon footprint of that versus a real butter yeah there's a, a huge difference of course so for me it's it's totally obvious that we need to make this transition for our earth and for our health um and then working on, at the back end of the chain sort of to um, to make uh, fast moving consumer good products. Um, for me, what is critical in there is that we make them as tasty and functional as the consumer wants them to be, um, which can be a copy of, of the, the, the dairy or meat replacement. Uh, but it can all be, also be something else, because at least our belief is there, there are the vegans out there, there are the people who really want to make that transition, great. Um, but that's not going to convince the, the majority of the consumer. So we want to make the life of the consumer super simple and therefore indeed price is going to be important. Um, to not have them hesitate why they would change over. Because if I can convince them in blind that the product is as nice and as uh, useful in, in their kitchen application or the likes, why would they not choose for it? So, so that's really our angle to make sure that we uh, really uh, meet the consumer needs.